martial arts in Broomfield, Colorado. Please make welcome, Austin Silva! And now, riding out of the Farmers Insurance, Thomas Swenson Blue Corner. Holding an MMA record of one win and zero losses from the Farm Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Greeley, Colorado. Please make welcome, Jim Strange. Austin Stubas wearing the black trunks represents Ludwig Martial Arts facing off against Gabe Strait. Mr. Strait wearing the red trunks. Excuse me, representing the Farm Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in this, our co main event of the evening, a 155 pound fight. A lot of hype coming out for both of these guys, JR. Uh, Stubas is wearing a uh, Western State Wrestling. Uh, pair of shorts right now and the irony of that is Gabe Strait is an all-american out of uh, the farm right now farm Brazilian jiu-jitsu so this one should be either a major stand-up fight or a hell of a wrestling battle <laughs> and headlock here for Stu Boss we're gonna see Strait try to bring his right leg over the top but he's got to pop his head free first and he will almost like he's seen the headlock position before we're weird right <laughs> And straight, showing off some good balance here. Jumps guard. That allows Stubas a chance to slam him, but straight ready for it. The team's full guard. Straight looking to line up some striking off of his back here. And Stubas busy trying to pass the guard, but straight doing a nice job with his legs. Intertwined there, working a lockdown, wants to keep. Stubas from advancing his position. Both of these guys with outstanding hips and a lot of strength out of both of these guys too. More or less of a scramble right now in this early in this first round, but Stubas really doing a great job of controlling the scramble. Straight looks for the roll through. Probably wanted to try to attain guard there, wasn't able to do so. Stubas doing a good job controlling the head position of Strait during these scrambles, mashing him into the mat. Shuts down a lot of his mobility. You know, a lot of times when you get two wrestlers, JR, it becomes a striking affair, ironically. In this case, we've got two outstanding wrestlers, and it's becoming a wrestling battle. And they are putting on a show for the fans here, no doubt about it. Absolutely. A very, very technical fighting happening here. And every time that... Stubas able to pass, try to put himself into a better position. Straight has an answer by way of bucking and rolling and twisting his way out. Oh, look Fireman's at that. Fireman's carry there. Look at that. You don't see that in MMA very often, by the way, too. And immediately taking back control, looking to stretch out Stubas is straight. Head Real. both hooks in momentarily. He's lost it. Stubas trying to pull him over the top. Look at these transitions. My goodness. Both of these guys are unbelievable athletes. And a chance there for Stubas to let this fight come back to standing. He didn't want any part of it. Dove right back in there. Both of these guys comfortable there. Exactly right. 10 second clacker. <laughs> no real choke there. It's just kind of a scissor head Looks, squeeze. Look cool. Second round just about underway here. Outstanding technical first round, and you hit it right on the head. That's exactly what we saw. Both of these guys negating each other on the ground, 
Not a lot of striking, but uh, but I, I think that uh, for uh, Stub Stubus, he did a really good job of defending that choke early. Yeah, really nice. And Oof. now it looks like they're going to try to test their striking a little bit. Two half smiles out of each of yeah. them after that. Stubas still has that real low crouch stance, looking like maybe he's going to shoot, and then he brings his shoulders up, gives a little faint rotation, just trying to keep straight from getting a direct read on what he might be doing. I love the way both these guys are keeping their defensive hands up. They're not allowing for counters, and therefore this fight's going to the ground, and a gigantic slam from Stubas. And he wasted no time getting his opponent in the air. He didn't spend a lot of time down hunting the single, acting like he was going to try to pull his opponent off the cage or go for a foot sweep or anything. He just grabbed it and picked him up. Stubas really showing an outstanding wrestling game from that top position. He's been do he did it all the first round, and he's doing it again now in the second. And look at Gabe Stray looks for a switch. Looking to set up the triangle now. Straight has good position here. This is exactly where Straight wants it to be. He can tend to have his knee a little bit more over his foot. He's going to reach up and try to make that adjustment. But Stubas, good job with his posture here. Starting to redden up oh, a little yeah. bit as Stubas and Straight squeezing hard for it. Both these guys putting a lot into it right now with what they're doing. Look at the toughness of both of these guys. Are you kidding me? Head down, butt up. That's what Stubas wanted for a defensive position. Straight, it has his leg looped over his toes, and you'd rather have him more up around the shin. That's right. That's the one little adjustment that Straight wants to make, and he keeps trying to reach up and make it, and he goes for it there, but every time that he reaches up, Stubas adjusts his position. And I like the way that Straight is still firing punches from that position as well. Oh, look at this fight. This is just crazy. And Stubas doing a good job with some body shots there. Straight has lost the position that he wants to have. His foot sliding down. That's going to allow Stubas to take side control. But Stubas needs just a second to regather his wits get you know a couple of full heart pumps of blood back up to his brain and i love the way that stubus is bringing knees in from that side mount position i love seeing that great fight great great fight so far Third and final round just about underway here in another amazing fight here at SEL Fight Night 2 at the Boulder House in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. JR, both these guys, wrestlers clearly, they're both exhausted, but look at the way both of these guys just say, let's get after it, let's keep going. I love it. I yeah. love what I'm seeing. It's the proverbial bite down on the mouthpiece and take two steps forward and none back. Keep going when you don't think you have any more, and that's what we're seeing out of both of these guys right now. And boy, is the crowd showing their appreciation for it. And rightfully so. Beautiful wizard from straight. Amateur fighters, so you cannot knee to the head here. They both wound up looking for it. Realized they didn't have the body as an open target and wise to the rules, selected their strikes well. 
And I like the way that Stubas is bringing those knees to the legs of Straight as he's got Straight against the cage. Late in this fight, those are uh, money in the bank shots, as you like to say, too. Indeed. And Straight going to have to try to circle off the cage here. Stubas has shown pretty amazing strength. And once he gets his hands locked, he can just pick you up and toss you. But beautiful. Wow. Switch. What a sit out there for Straight. Beautiful. Trying to go underneath the neck. Straight just partway through that transition. Already had his arm going into place. Yep. Knowing where he wanted to end up. And it is fed through past the chin. But now Stubas able to get two on one wrist control. I saw the exact same thing. And we're looking at Gabe Straight now at least throwing some body shots. Trying to accumulate some points here in a very, very tightly contested match so far. Yeah, let's see if uh, Stubas can pull off the kind of escapes that Straight has pulled off throughout almost the entirety of this fight. Oh, and he's got Stubas in a bad spot, JR. He's looking to get under that, underneath that chin. I don't know if he's got it underneath that chin, and that's it. He, I think he's bringing him to standing. I don't, I don't think the oh, fight's you're, over. You're right. You are right. Back control with a rear naked choke sunk in, and he stands the fighters. I don't understand that. I do not understand that call. My goodness. So back to standing we go. And wow, what a what a turn of events for Stubos. He's in about as bad of a position as you can be in, and Gets it back to standing where he's able to affect his takedown game one more time. Ten-second clacker has sounded. And straight looking for a splaydle almost. Gets a couple of hard shots. There's the bell. End of the fight. We're going to the judges. Congratulations on the big season. I give it up for the winner, Gabe Straight. 